Point ya mbere. Number 1. Icyo turindire kigiye gushika tutagishora gushika umwanyu wari wo wose kubera ko turi mu gihe cacho nuko ishengero rya Yesu riduzwa. So what we are expecting which can happen any time is the rapture of the church of Christ. Kandi sure tubisome mu dusome mu bite mu bikore no bambere cha 15 kuva ku murongo wa 51 na 52. Let's go in the first Corinthian chapter 15 from 51 to 52. Harapuka ngo eh ndababarira ndababarira kabanga. Ntimutso ntituzo sinzira twese ariko tuzohindugwa mu kanya gato mu kanya nkako gukubita ingohe aho inzamba yiheretse zovugira. Kuko inzamba zovuga abapfuye bakazugwa batagishobora kubora natwe tuzohindugwa. It says from 51 Behold I show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the trumpet for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed When we are talking about salvation what are we saved from Turavuga cyane ko twakijiwe kamere kicaha. Yeah, we do say we've been saved by the nature of sin. Ariko ikintu gikuru nyamukuru twakijijwe. But the number one or the main thing we've been saved from. Nuko twakijijwe urubanza rw'ibihe bidashira. We've been saved from eternal condemnation. Reka dusubye dusome mu Mariko 16. Let's go in Mark 16. Dusome mu Mariko 16 gushaka mu Mariko 16. From 15 to 16. Harapuka ngo arababarira ati mugenda muje mu bihugu byose mubwira baremwe bose ubutumwa bwitse uwizera akabatizwa zokizwa ariko utizera zotsendwa n'urubanza Mhm I said unto them uh, uh, he said go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believe is baptized shall be saved but he that believe not shall be damned in other words, we have been saved from eternal condemnation. We've been saved from the wrath of God which will come after the church. You understand now the importance of salvation. When you see what's going to happen for the unbelievers, when the church shall be raptured, then you would thank God and say, Lord, I thank you that I will not be part of those tribulations that will happen. Yes, But Jesus is telling his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel. So, number one, whoever will be, we believe. And will testified through baptism he shall be saved. He didn't say whoever will baptize, we baptize and believe but, but he said whoever shall believe that I am I have resurrected from the dead and we will testify it through water baptism that he died with the Lord he, the he is the one who is saved what is he going to be saved? Number one, eternal judgment. And second, he will be saved from the tribulation that will come after the church has been raptured. So Paul now uh, took time and explained it how it happened. He said, Someone needs to believe with his heart and confess with his own Yuko word that Jesus, that Jesus, the Father, rose him from the dead. So if he, that person believe, believe he's saved, and he is saved, and he is saved, also have to uh, testify. I think we need to read this scripture to understand. Now this is the question. Ninde ari karifye kuzoduga igihinzamba izovuga akadugana nishengelo. Who is qualified when the trumpet sound to go uh, with the church? No wakijijwe. Number one, someone who is born again. Wakijijwe akizwagute. How does 
uh, someone get born again. Nuko yizera. He's born again when he believes. Akatura. And confess with his mouth. Hanyuma kabatizwa. And he is baptized. Wari muri shengero universel dyo ya Kristo uwo niwe akwije ibisabwa kugira ngo aje mu ijo. That's the person who is part of the universal church of Christ who has all the, the, the accomplishment to go to heaven. Now to tarikwa biteguye jamu wa Roma gice cha cha 10 mu rongo wa 9 na mu rongo wa 10. Now go to Roman chapter 10 and verse 9 9 9 and 10. Agira ngo uverifie est-ce que tu es vraiment qualifié? Est-ce que la kwije bisabwa kugira ngo ushobore kuja kugana na Yesu ginzambi zovu. This is for you to check. This is like a checklist to know if you meet all the requirements when the trumpet sound haravuga ngo kuko ne waturisha kanwa yuko yesa ari umwami ukizera mu mutima wawe mu mutima yuko imana yamuzuye mukuye mu bapfuye uzokizwa kuko umutima ari wo umuntu yizeresha akaronko kugororoka kanda kanwa akaba ariko yaturisha akaronka gakiza for it shall if you shall confess with your mouth the lord jesus and you shall believe in your heart that god has raised him from the dead you shall be saved for with your heart men believe unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation dero hari kintu twumvise nga nuko umuntu gwigira ngo akizwe ategereza kwizera so for something very important here for someone to be saved he needs to believe. Igituma tutizera ko amwana batuzane nga twaheza giye mukanya ashobora gukizwa nuko adashobora kwizera ntaragira mu gihe cyo kwifatira ingingo yo kwizera. The reason the reason why we say this child cannot be born again is because that child that we dedicate to the Lord cannot believe. Ariko twizera but we believe ko izina rye we ritakuwe mu gitabo cy'ubugingo. We believe that his name is still in the book of life. Kwa tigeze itandukanya na Kristo mu gufata ingingo ya Kamereka Adamu ngo maze akora cha. Because the child has not yet separated himself from God by sinning. Kuko Imana ntere mu muntu yafuye mu buryo bw'imwemo. Because God does not create someone who is dead in his spirit. Iyo mwana kiri muto ari muzima mu buryo bw'imwemo nta na hamwe bitwereka ko aba yaratandukanye n'Imana kuko era ko gusasa mwe mwisi yica. When a child is still young uh, he is still alive or or, 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 or or connected to God because there's nowhere in the Bible that we see that the child is alive. Alasubisa le conséquence du péché, du péché, arahura n'ingaruka zicaha kubera kati geze kubera ko yasamwe mu isi ariko ni mu buryo bw'umubiri no mu buryo bw'umbere bw'ibigumba bw'ubugingo bwa sonam ariko mu buryo bw'impemba bakiri mu buzima so he endures or he or she endures some consequences of sin in his soul and in his body but in the spirit the, the baby is still alive ariko iyo umuntu ageze gufata ubwigugira ubwenge arafata ingingo akifatana na kamera ka Adam agatandukana n'Imana kubwa ingingo yo gukora icaha ari conscient icaha gito ari azine dicari ko arakora but it came a time when someone who is mature enough to decide commit a sin by himself and separate himself from God. That is when there is a need of being born again. That's the person who needs to hear the good news of salvation and receive Christ as his Lord and Savior. So how do we receive Jesus? It's by believing in your heart every time you hear the gospel of Jesus. And then you open your mouth and you confess with your Ibi mouth two very important things. for those to believe that Jesus rose from the dead to believe that, that and also that you accept him to be your Lord when you do it with your willing heart you are born again the Bible says if you do it in your heart you need to testify it through baptism let's go in Romans chapter 6 and verse 3 and 4 and see how Paul uh, explain it Change ni muzi yuko twese ababatirijwe kuba muri Kristo Yesu twabatirijwe kuba mu rufugu yiwe none rero kubatitswe kwatumye duhambanwa nawe tuba mu rufugu yiwe kugira ngo nkuko Kristo yazuwe mu bapfuye nubwiza bwa data wa twese abari ko natwe tukendana ubugingo bushe 
Know you not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. Yes, sir. Jesus said, if you want to be saved, you need to believe and to be baptized. Somebody will come and say, I was baptized when I was a little kid. The question is, when you were baptized, did you, be, did you believe? And somebody came and said, but my parents believe on my behalf. Okay, okay, but show me in the Bible, where is that verse? The Bible says, if you believe and you are baptized, then you shall be saved. First question I have. Okay, we all believe the rapture of the church. But it's only those who believe and are baptized are those who, the rapture, who believe with their hearts and confess with their mouth and testify it through water baptism. Another question that will come after. So, question is, so do you mean, Pastor, if I believe? Are you saying if you believe and you confess with your mouth and I have no time to be baptized, if I die, will I not go to heaven? Jesus chose his words carefully. He said, if you believe and you are baptized, you shall be saved. He says, but if you don't believe, you shall be saved. He didn't say, if you don't believe and you are not baptized, you shall be saved. You may not be baptized because you have no chance to be baptized. But for you, you had actually no problem of being baptized. You were ready to uh, publicly show that you died with Christ and that you rose also together with him. When we are saying the church shall be uh, uh, raptured, it's not going to be people who goes to oasis that will go. Or oh, that he will come on Sunday and, and say, oh, everyone, let's go. It's not that you are part of a Christian church. But it's because there is a single day you, look at, you believe with your heart. And you confess with your mouth. That Jesus rose from the dead. And you believe him with your heart. And you accept to be baptized. From that day, you started living uh, based on, on his word, not based on your mind. Those are the people who, are, who made the church of Christ. Those are the ones who shall hear the sound of a trumpet. Those are the ones who shall be raptured like in a glimpse of an eye, in a twinkle of an, of an eye. This is what the Bible says. The question I have is this. Have you done all those requirements in order? Don't do it just to become a church member of Oasis. Don't do it because you heard that everyone else has done it. But do it because this is what the Bible says and you have applied the word of God. Because a religion will never save uh, mankind. Now, after the rapture of the church, I will explain in a moment, but the church of Christ will go for seven years 
to be with the Lord in heaven. So what will come after? Nuko antikristo kumvise yavuzwe kuva kera naho yatangiye gukora ubu ico gihe ni hazo cagira ubasha bwose kugira ngo aganze azane azana abantu kubaho ubuzima bunyuranye n'ivy'Imana igomba. So after the church of Christ is raptured or is taken to heaven, then the antichrist that we read in the Bible who existed, if now he's operating more, he's going to have full authority to function on earth. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 7 and 8. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now uh, lets uh, let us, will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Uh, I'm very sad that you didn't come on Friday. We took good time to understand these words. Lero igihe ishenge ndabagumana yibutse ikintu kimwe muramaze kumva inkuru nyinshi zivuga ku muntu twa antikristo. You've heard many stories about antichrist, right? Na bibiri yatubira ko ari abantu abantu bari antikristo no kuvanga ngo bagwanye vya Kristo. The Bible say talk about even anti antichrist. No yimusi bari ko barakora igikorwa cyabo mwese. Even today they are still doing their work. Ariko nta pouvoir bafise hejuru yishengero rya Kristo. But they have no power or authority over the church of Christ. Nta mubasha bafise hejuru yabize ijambo ry'Imana. They have no power over the believers. Nico gituma uyu munsi ati Kristo adashobora gukora ibya gombye mwisi kuberako mwisi hakiriho mwe muyera ari mwishengero rya Kristo. That's why today they can't do whatever they want to do because the, the, the Holy Spirit is in the church of Christ. That's what we read here. The saying there is because he who uh, he until he's taken out, but he is still there. So what is he doing now? He's trying to distract the believers. And also to prevent the people who haven't believed to believe in Christ. He's distracting them to the way they don't understand the need of salvation. That's why the apostle Paul will tell the church, you need to be keen and watchful because as people who walk in the light. Kwa rako antikrista kwa rako ya mubinu bitandu kanyi ugira ngwa sama azabanu ni baki zgue abaki zgue wa chiki nege ni bashu mregu kore ni mana ngwa baki le ngwa zoro ngibit sibo imbere ima. Because the antichrist is doing his best so that people don't get saved. Second, those who are born again to be this, to be this, uh, discouraged so they don't serve God. Romans chapter uh, uh, 13 and verse 11. Let's read and see how Paul is uh, um, admonishing people how they don't need to fall under the trap of the enemy. Haravuga ngo nuko mwame mugenza mucyo kuko muzi imisi yuko igihe gishitse co kwikangura none agakiza kacu karatwegereye kurusha igihe twizereye ijoro rirakuze bugire buce nuko twiyambura ibikogwa by'umwiza twambara ibigwanishwa by'umuco tugenda ningeso nziza nk'abagenda ku murango tutadandahigwa tutaboregwa tudasambana tudakora ibyiso ninke tudatongana tutagirishari in the night, uh, in, um, in that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearest than we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us put on the armor of the Lord. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in the rioting and, or drunkenness, nor in chambering or wantonness, not in strike or envy. Mbandi majambo 
In other words, we are in the time of uh, the church of Christ where we are called to walk in righteousness as we are waiting for the trumpet to sound so that when the trumpet sound, we shall go with the Lord. But in the world, for the non-believers, the Antichrist and the demons, they are doing their best so that they can distract the non-believers so they, don't, they won't know the season and repent so that when the devil and the demons is are thrown in the air, they shall go together. What are the main tools they are doing? Verse 13 of the same chapter. Read again. Let us walk honestly as in the day. Because out there are uh, good works they are not caring about. What will show that we are good? Continue. Uh -huh. Not in rioting. Not, not being people who want to get all the riches of the world. Not to become selfish. Saying me, me, me. Every, every time when you say Even And you want everything to be for your good. C'est la première distraction que le diable est en train d'amener dans ce monde. That's the number one distraction the devil is bringing. Everyone wants to be the richest person in the world. Even if he commits sin. Everyone wants to be, to have a lot of things uh, so that he can be accepted even if he commits sin. It's good to, to prosper. But that should not be our focus. Number. When you see people in the church, trying to be selfish, trying to gather riches, not because of the kingdom of God, they are always fallen in the Antichrist trap. Every time you wake up trying to gather everything for you. And the Bible says, what shall profit a man to have all riches and you lose your soul? When you are born again, you don't leave so that you, oh, you, 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 you satisfy your needs. But you do please God and God will meet you today. Today we are in a time of saying me and mine and everything about me. Second, he said, not in drunkenness. Today there's a lot of drunkenness in the even the minister, he had a meeting last time and he says, now in Burundi we have the high record of drunk and drug addicted as we have never seen before. People who are even born again, they think they can get the joy by drinking like, a, like spirit or any wine. They say, but you know, in Oasis we are not very much uh, concerned about alcohol. What are you looking for in drinking uh, spirits and uh, wine? Tomorrow you will wake up complaining, saying that you commit sin. Yes, we don't say that drinking is a sin. But Yes, if you're looking for, for the pleasure that you should find in God, you, by drinking those spirit and alcohol, you will find yourself in a Paul situation that sin. Paul is talking to the church of, of Rome and says, not in drunkenness. Maybe he didn't tell them to, to drink. He said, not in drunkenness. 
Mbega mjukuri abantu benshi munsi nta bantu tubana bagendera mu kaburebe gushikaho kabasamaza nibagira inyota y'Imana uyu munsi ububare ni bwuzu y'abantu batari ko baraja gusenga Today don't we see people who walk in drunkenness and they don't care about God are we not having many people in bar We are in the end time Ese mundi nari mu bihugu nka America na handi aho ivyo twe twankira abantu burumogi nibiki byose bisigaye vyemewe ku mugaragaro uh, recently I was Zaka in the US and, and uh, in the western countries where you know those things like like weed and uh, marijuana we, we, we stop people from but now it's become legal out there et, et and you see people who have lost uh, any sort of control uh, self control there is a lot of destruction and drunkenness but the purpose is one to stop people from believing in God and those that are in that are in the Lord uh, by taking those things they, are, they, shall, they will lose their focus and and not in chambering or or you know or, 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 or yeah, uh, sexual Today for for musicians to get uh, pop, to be popular and famous, they will put in their music some dancing that people are dancing naked so that people go in the all of this is coming to distract people so they don't get saved or so they don't focus on their, on their, on their purpose to serve God continue when you're talking about uh, not in wantonness uh, there are many, many sort of uh, there are many people who are doing things, activity so that they can uh, uh, put, uh, bring people uh, out far from the Lord Knowing or not knowing it. Not in strife. Not in strife. Not in strife. Not in strife. Not envying uh, somebody that God has blessed. If you have just sent me So all of that list are things that are really stopping people from coming to the Lord, and if the Lord comes, they will find the people are not serving uh, his goal. So brethren, as people who are in the Lord, let us be keen and knowing the season and the time because the Lord is about to come. For the rest, I will just tell you so that you know it. So, I told you about the rapture of the church. First uh, Corinthians 15 and verse 52. Second, I told you about the reign of Antichrist when the church will be in heaven and the Antichrist will be reigning. First uh, Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18. I told you on Friday when the Antichrist will be ruling, there will be two uh, main uh, characters. There will be two main There will be two main characters. There will be two main characters. There's someone that to be called Antichrist. Antichrist. Uh, false, 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 and there will be the false prophet. Uh, 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 false prophet.
So the first prophet will be a religious or a religious person like Azo tangi ni umbere gituma bali abantu bavuye mwisi who will try to give reasons or explain why this massive number of people have been erupted. Antichrist will be a political leader. So in the first time, those two, they will come as peacemaker, trying to, 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 you know, to bring... But you won't take long, after that, they will be some uh, rioting and some war. But you won't take long, after that, they will be some rioting and some war. Then, in, in that period of seven years, there will be also tribulation. So that tribulation period is going to take seven years. These seven years are be split in two. Let's go in Revelation 6 and verse 16. Haravukango. Babarira imisotsi nibitangara bati ni mutugweko muduhisha inyonga z'ibyagiye kuri ijya ntebe n'uburake bw'umwagazi w'intama. Mm. 16 and said and said to the mountains and the rock fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sits on the throne from the wrath of the lamb. Gukwera kicogeye burake buzabwaje mwisi mwemera nzo bakiri mwisi ishegere nzo barikiri mwisi abantu bazwa munsi ya mahano because in that time of tribulation, the church will not longer be in the earth. The Holy Spirit will not be there. But there is going to be the wrath. We learned it last Friday. But it's going to be a terrible time. The first three and a half years of Revelation 7, when the tribulation starts coming, there is a war in Ezekiel. There is a war which is prophesied by the prophet Ezekiel. And we see also the reference in Revelation. It's the war of Armageddon. Uh -huh. Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog. So it's coalition of nations against Israel. So some, uh, there is a discussion on this topic. Some say it, this uh, Gog and Magog war with the coalition, they say it might happen before the rapture, but if you go carefully, you see it will happen in the first part of tribulation. So Ezekiel 39, from verse uh, uh, 39 to 30. 38 to 39. Looks like you are not uh, very much interested. Hallelujah. It's good to know this. Yeah, it won't happen when we hear. But it's good to know what you've been delivered from. And that war will be um, uh, uh, terrible and today is being prepared as you see Things around. It's gonna blasphemy or. Yeah. So there's gonna be something which is considered to be like a blasphemy or yeah in the in the in the Old Testament. So understand this. The first. Three and a half years, the Antichrist and the false prophet, they will be supporting Israel. That's why they will see advantages and victory over Magog and Magog. But then, at the end of the three and a half years, Israelis they will understand what is happening and what is taking place in Israel. 
Let's go in Daniel chapter 12 and verse 11. Haravuka ngo ikimaze chokoswa gihora gitanga uko bukeye uhereye igihe kizokuri kizokurwaho bagashinga cakizira cubuyobe cazanye ubugizira cubuyobe cekano nondera ha cazanye ubugesera hazo caha imisi gihumbi namajana 290 Daniel ko aravuga iyo myaka uyiharuye ni mya ibyo ko aravuga bija kuri ya myaka itatu nigice So 11 said from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that makes desolation desolate set up there shall be 1290 days Let's go to Revelation Apocalypse 12 and verse 17. Revelation 12 and verse 17. And the dragon was worth 1,290. Uh, was wrath with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which kept the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So there are things I'm not ready to teach because not everyone is ready to teach. When the Bible is talking about the, the lady or the woman that has 12 stars, you remember the 12 tribes of Israel? So he's saying that how the Antichrist will break the agreement and fight the Israel. So how will the, the eyes be open now? So uh, as we said, it's, uh, uh, it's going to be Elijah and uh, Moses. They shall come as, as they came on the Mount of Transfiguration. They shall eyes be open, saying that the one that they, they killed was Messiah. So because because at that time when their eyes are open because the Antichrist actually will try to go in the Holy of Holies which he's not allowed to go to and then they shall uh, uh, eyes be open and they shall be uh, tribulation, they shall cut their fingers so that uh, kind of treatment is not for the church because the church will be in heaven. So you always hear about the number, especially with the Jehovah Witnesses. So that number of people who will be delivered or saved because of their blood is not for the church period, but it's for the time of tribulation. So that's war is going to happen at the end of tribulation called the valley of Armageddon or the war which will take part in that past part of a uh, uh, Area. Hmm. I think it was Thursday, maybe or, or Friday. So if you remember, in those seven years, while the church is in heaven, two things will happen. There's going to be some. Uh, celebration or, or crowning of the believers uh, based on what they have accomplished on earth. 
ariko kandi hazochabaho nubukwe bw'umwagazi no kuvuga igiye ishengero set fast zoba umwe hamwe na Kristo mu bukwe bw'umwagazi buzoba mu kurangiza imyaka indwi mu ijuru igihisi zo biri mu mahano ya tribulation za yanyuma there will also be the feast of the lamb or the feast of the son of god as we end up seven years in the law in the katusome muri mariko 14 murongo wa 62 ibintu byinshi ndabahaya ariko nashaka ko mibinota naho muto bitabura cyane ko mufate umwanya gusoma mu bibiliya mariko 14 murongo wa 62 let's go in mark 14 and verse 22 i want you to take note even though you don't understand everything but take note harapuka ngo yesu aramwishura ati ndiwe kandi muzobona umwana w'umuntu yicaye ibujyo bw'ubabasha azananye nibicu byo kwijura haleluya ako ni kwa kuza kwa kabiri kwa Yesu Kristo ni hazobaje guhama guhagarika intambara yo muri Armageddo now here on in mark 14 we are talking about the second coming of the Lord. That's when he's coming to stop the war of Armageddon. And then let's go in Revelation 11, uh, 19 from verse 11. Go there. Inyonga ziwe ni mbe ya zumuriro, nomu mutuko ya ambaye migara mnyinshi, kanda fisizina jandizkwe na uriza tari wewe njene. Ya ambaye mutu za chove tukwe mmaraso, kandi yitukwa jambo wimana. Ingabo zomu ijuru, zira mukurikira, zicha yikumafarasi hivi tare, za ambaye mutu nziza zera terere, zita andui. Mukanwa kiwe, hapa mngi ngo tikarishe, kukira ngwa yikuvita mahanga. Azo ya ragizi ngo ni yichumu. Kandi agani shiri zivire agani shiri zivirenge ibirenge mupka to vino yuvu rakepki ingazi kima ni shovora vjos. Kandi kumhuzu ziwe no kukivero afisi zina jandi seko ngumnga mi wava mi ukanza wakanza. Na wakaru kizanga. Stop by there. Ya mwana mshamba tukole kani zingi ni yesa zoza na na ninga mzungu ijoro nami ijoro kuzagua hagari kinambari zovidi kurabeda muri Armageddon muri chogi he azova je kuzana inganji we imnya kigihumi. In this portion of the Bible, they show us how Jesus will come from heaven together with his army to stop the war in Armageddon. Kwa gata mtu alo sumanya uku isamane zingene na hama gaya abgiri visiga ni miki ati muze muze kujia inyamaza vansi kumvira nda wimu sayo kwa wanu batari bataki jijwe na bataki jijwe muri kino gihe ni wazu se igihe ishengelo jaduga bo bagu mni kuzimu na wangu na wali mni cho gihe barafa baji kuzimu kurindira imyaka igihumbi yose kwirangira So I remind you at this time the people who the non believers they haven't resurrected yet they will still be uh, in the ground in hell until the 1000 years is complete Number 1 the rapture of the church Second the rule of antichrist Chagatatu aguhamwa cyangira tribulation Number 3 persecution Ukwa cha kani inambara ya Gog na Magog. Number four, Gog and Magog war. Chaga tano, kizira chibu yobe kiza, gita ngura guhama, chaga kutandu kana na Israeli, nukufuga ranti kristo igihe, azo hinduka Israeli, aka hinduka, aga tangura kuiguanya. And we talk about the desolation, the Antichrist breaking the covenant with the Israel. Inambara ya Megedon, Arizora, ngizicho mnyaka indwi, na hanyuma, ninyo mwijuru, hali kwa ba, obuke kumuwa gaza hanyuma, Yes, agachaza kugira ngo hagari kiyo nambara. The war of Armageddon, when Jesus is coming now to stop the war. Indri, urubanza, kumahanga, changiru shishuma de nasyon. Now, judgment to the nations. Nige, yes, azo chazana, azana urubanza, kura uvo sema sekwize, la changi batakuri kie, ifu kuri kuchisha majima na rivuga, icho gihe, niyo abanu, batize batakuri kiesu, bazo wa monsi ya mahano. So that's the time where Jesus will come and will uh, condemn those people who didn't believe. That's where they say about he shall separate um, uh, you know, goats and uh, lambs. 
Reka dusome mu vya yishuri hani kicho cha 2023 wa mbere gusha ku murongo wa gatatu. Bene dati ibintu birakomeye. Mu vya yugu mu bikurikire uko birahambaye ku mutahuri bihe turiko turajama. Understand it's uh, Revelation chapter 20 uh, because it's very important. Harapuga ngo bono maraika manuka vuye mu ijuru afisa urufunguro zo kwikuzimu afisa nikinyororo mu minwe afata chaga sato nico yanzoka ya mbere niyo mugwanizi irindi ni satani akiboha ngo kimara imyaka igihumbi agikororera ikuzimu arakidadira ashira ko ikimenyetso kikirumanya kugira ngo nticongere kutsimiza amahanga gushitsa mm. aha imyaka igihumbi zoshirira ni yashira gikwiye kubohogwa ngo kimara igihe gito so, oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I saw an angel came down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit, a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon and all that old serpent, which is the devil and the Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Lelo, satana zo chabo wa ikuzimu imya kiki humbi. Icho gishengeli zo eli ganje kuisi, na yesari kuisi, aganje kuisi, hanyuma, agaraga ze ugombe giwe, ingene vzari kugendia manu wadakori chaha, imya kiki humbi satani, afunzi, afungi ikuzimu, hamwena batize, batazuze, bari, bari, bari kuzimu, kuwela kubari, bari indirie, uruwanza kubibi hebi dashira. So, at this time, the devil shall be bound for 1,000 years, and he shall be bound together with the non-believers who didn't believe, and Jesus will, will reign for 1,000 years. Lero hajo chaba ukuganza kimya kigihumbi, tuzo ganza nyamena kristo nga hamisi, leka tusome mburi, mubzai shuhani kiche cha cha mirongi bili njene, leka tubanda jigatoi. Let's continue the following verses. Mkiche cha mirongi bili, leka tusome, lela kumurongo, tufate kumurongo, wa kia tunyarutse, just up to verse 7, continue. From 4. Uh, if that is Kandi mbono bugingo bwa baciwe amazosi babahora gushingira intahe Yesu ni jambo y'Imana nibo batasenza cyaka ikoko cyangwa igishushanyo cyacu kandi ntibemeye gushikwa ikimenyetso cyacu mu ruhanga cyangwa kukiganza baba bazima bafatanya na Kristo kuganza imyaka igihumbi abafuye bandi nti baba bazima iyo myaka igihumbi itarashira uko niko kuzuka kwa mbere yeah. uri mu mugabane wo kuzuka kwa mbere arahiriwe kandi nuwera mm. urupfu kwa kabiri ntirugira ububasha kubameze bacyo ariko bazoba bahereze ibimana na Kristo kandi bazofatanya nawe kuganza iyo myaka igihumbi imamu ni ngaha muri gukomera amashimano if you are here you should clap for the lord for this scripture hallelujah amen ya shengero ya duze muri enlevement so that church which was raptured in, uh, you know, uh, the church that was so that church which was raptured together with the people who refused to bow to the Antichrist or who refused to take the, the mark of the beast, they will unite together with the Christ for 1,000 years. But the non-believers at this point, they are not Because uh, they are waiting for the last judgment, which is the second death. After 1,000 years, the devil shall be released. And he will be released. He will try to, to he will try to, to deceive people so that they don't accept the rule of Jesus. But then he will that will be an opportunity to, to open the, the, the last judgment where uh, people shall be thrown in the lack of fire. Read seven to ten. Haravuka ngo kandi yomnyaki gihumbi ni ashira satana zore kugwa apemngi vohero. 
azokoroka aje kuzimiza mahanga yo mu mfuruka zine zisi gogi na magogi kugira ngo yakoranirize hamwe ku ntambara igitigiri cabo ni nk'umusenye wo kukiyaga baraduga bakwirisi yose bakikiza hingabo zabera zishagaje na cagisagara gikundwa umuriro uratibukuvuye mu ijuru urabarigita kandi umugwanizi yabazimiza ategwa muri cake yaka cake umuriro namazuku kirimwe na cake koko na wa mvugishwa w'ibinyoma bazoba bazwa ku murango no mwijoro ibihe bitazoshira ko niko bizorangira nova ngo satani hamwe nabo bose batize bazogerageza gusubira kuraba ngo baze kugwanya Yesu hamwe nabizera ariko ngo umuriro w'umwijuri ni uzorangiza iyo ntambara so uh, this is how it shall end up so the devil after he's loosed out and him and the people who are rebelling against they shall be punished and be thrown in the lake of fire mukurangiza 11 ni wazo chaba rero urubanza rw'ibihe bidashira urubanza uh, go ku, uh, Let's read 11 to 15. This is the time where now there's going to be uh, the last judgment and then God is going to create new uh, hell, new Jerusalem, new earth and new heaven. And let's read the scriptures to understand more. Haravuga ngo mbona intebe nini ya yera mbona ni ivyagiyeko isi nicuru bihunga mu nyonga hayo aho vyahora nti haba hakiboneka mbona bapfuye abahambaye nabaoroshe bahagaze imbere y'iyo ntebe ibitabo birazunga birazingurugwa kandi kindi gitabo kirazingurugwa nico gitabo c'ubugingo abapfuye bacigwa imanza z'ibyanditswe muri ibyo bitabo zikwiranye n'ibyo bakoze Ikiyaga kigarukana abapfuye bo muri ico urupfu ni kuzimu bigarukana abapfuye bo muri byo bacigwa imanza zikwiranya n'ibyo umuntu wese yakoze urupfu na kuzimu biteregwa muri cake yaga ca ku muriro ico kiyaga ca ku muriro nico rupfu kwa kabiri kandi umuntu wese atabonetse ko yanditswe muri ca gitabo c'ubugingo ateregwa muri ico kiyaga ca ku muriro and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And the death and the hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> This is how it will end. This is what is called the second death. Icho gihe niyo hazobo kuzuka kwa kabiri no kuvuga kuzuka kwa mbere kuzoba wa munsi Yesu azaza gutwara ishengero. So the first resurrection will take place when Jesus come to take the church. Aho hazozuka bamwe akirimo mu mukiza wa bugingo bwabo bakijwe gusa hamwe nabatakwe mu gitabo c'ubugingo no kuvuga ngo abana bapfuye batara batarakora icaha bataratandukana n'Imana nabazo bakirimo uyu mubiri bazo cyabahindurwa bamusangane ku bicu ubwo ari guhita ukuzuka kwa mbere. This is the, for the first resurrection here we are talking about uh, believers who was who found alive when he comes those that believe in him who are sleeping uh, who are uh, uh, and then also the children who's, who haven't separated from God, who will still be baby, those are part of the first resurrection. So the first resurrection is the and the second resurrection which will take place after the millennium after the 1000 years and then that will come the uh, the condemnation and whoever whoever will found his name in the book of life then he will enter eternity with god as we are finishing, let's read Revelation 21 from verse 1 and we'll finish by there and pray. Let's have the choir come in front as we're preparing to uh, pray. Haravuka ngo, mboni juru risha ni isi nsha, kukwi juru jambere ni isi ya ambere vjari vjagiye, niki yaga nichari kikiriho. 
mbona umugwa wera Yerusalemu musha wururu kuva mu ijuru ku mana witeguwe nk'umugeni asharitswa umugabo wiwe numva ijwi rirenga rivuye kuri ya ntebe ritehihema gy'Imana riri kumwe nabantu kandi zogerera muri bo nabo bazoba abantu bayo kandi imana ubwayo izobana nabo izoba imana yabo and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, come down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you love God, if God has loved you, clap for him. When we are talking about being born it's not to stop so and so. It's not to come and attend a protestant church. It's not only to forsake sin But it's also to be saved from all condemnation and judgment. And to be saved from eternal condemnation. That's why Paul writing to the Romans so there shall be no more condemnation to those who are in Christ. Christ for those that are in Christ there will be no condemnation praise God that we are born in time of grace thank God that we are born in a dispensation of the thank God that we are born in a time of the Holy Spirit but that time has its end. That it might be today. It might be in five months. It might be in 50 months. That's not our business. The thing is we don't walk in drunkenness. We don't walk drunk. We don't walk in fornication. We don't do any evil things. That we live Anything that the enemy will try to bring to stop us from bearing fruit. But the most important thing is everything we've heard and all the tribulations that will happen when the believers will be with you. The question I have is this. Have you believed? Have you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Did you confess with your mouth? Today, are you a born again Christian? If you are here and you have a decision, this is the most important decision. You accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you'll be a new Christian. So you are delivered from eternal death. And go to eternal life. So that your name will be written in the book of life. So that your name will be written in the book of life. So that your name will stay in the book of life and you become a child of God. So that if the trumpet sound, even if today, you will hear the trumpet and you shall go. Is there anyone this morning who is saying, I want to receive something? Today I want to receive Christ. If it is you, raise your hand and tell him, Lord, I want to receive so that I don't meet all these tribulations. You know you are not born again. You know you never take the decision. Just raise your hand wherever you are sitting. Yes, yes, this is a decision that is more important. So it will take you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of God. We are waiting for you. God bless you, God bless you. Now and now, trust God because you, if you are you following, yes. Don't be ashamed if you are following online or TV. Raise your hand even if you are alone. Now we are on the phone. 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 We are on the ph
receiving Christ and becoming a Christian. Is there anyone who wants to receive Christ? Because as we all did it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me ask the whole church to stand up. Let me ask the brother who have raised their hands. And those of you that are watching online, follow the Lord. Where that Kabutami is Kukijin Yarukimbe, Fatigingo, Kirikisom Kisogingo, in your decisions of business or Shasha Bagarani. If you know you are not born again, this is the most important decision. We are still waiting for you. You know, in your stomach, you have a confusion inside of you. It doesn't mean you have committed a lot of sins. You don't know what it is. It's a matter of acknowledging Christ as your Lord and Savior. Please come, 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 come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. This is the most important decision. Thank you. Are you sure? Are you sure that you are born again? This is not about your friend, your family, or anything. This is about you individually. Let that thing go and Jesus said, if you confess me before the people, I will confess you before the Father. We are still waiting for you, brother. This is an opportunity to take a decision. And those of you watching online, this is a very important moment to consider it. If, if you have taken the decision, say this prayer after me. Say this after me. Dear Father, I thank you. I thank you. Father, I thank you. Say it loud. Say it loud. Say it loud. Those of you that you gave your only son to die for me. I believe without any doubt that he rose from the dead to justify me. From today, Lord Jesus, I receive you. Come and be my Lord and my Savior, the Savior of my life. I become a new creature. The old is gone. Everything is made new. I pray believing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. And if you, you who are following, I want you to go in the same space. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the brethren who have taken this We say from today, they become new Christians. They are born again. Their names are written in the book of life. There will be no condemnation. And they are waiting when you come to take your church we thank you that you give salvation that you have forgiven their sins and that you have given them a new heart thank you that you've heard our prayer in the name of Jesus Amen